So support for override option in copy remote to running config. This is an enhancement in running config replacement via CLI. So by default, the CLI configuration included in the config file is put on top of the running config rather than replacing the existing running config. Like if the command fails, the failure is recorded in the event logs and then the next line in the configuration file is executed. From 1015, we have this override option. So the override option in the 1015 release onwards helps with the config replacement. The current running configuration will be totally replaced without the merging. So when the override flag is used, the configuration is only applied to the running config if all of the operations are completed successfully. Otherwise, the existing running config is left unchanged. And you can then analyze the event logs to identify and correct any issues before retrying the operation again. So let us understand with the example here. So here is the current running configuration in the switch. I have enabled only logging with a particular IP address 10.1.1. So let's consider this is a remote config file I have. So here the logging is a different IP address 10.1.2. Let's see the two methods present. One is the legacy copy running configuration without the override option. So when we use the remote copy here to running config, along with the existing running configuration of the logging server 10.1.1, you will see the new logging configuration 10.1.2. So when we use the new 10.15 feature override, you will see the difference like the remote CLA config file will be present. The existing configuration present in the switch will be replaced entirely. So you will see only the logging 10.1.2. So in terms of use cases, having parity with the AOS is, and then competitors is one of the most sought feature by several customers, since it uh, greatly simplifies the configuration replacement. Hence, customers can achieve enhanced serviceability and then usability with this feature as it supports the configuration manageability. and it is supported across all the AOS CX platforms. So let's see the configuration syntax here. Copy and then the remote URL running configuration. Additionally, the VRF along with the override option. So when we execute this using sample SFTP as a remote URL, Along with override option, it will request, since it is the SFTP, it will request for the password and then it will mention whether the copy configuration is successful. So, in case of failure, it will mention the copy configuration is failure and later on you can use the show events minus DHP config to identify the line number which has caused the configuration download error. So, let's see the details and caveats for this feature. So if there are more than 20 failures when utilizing the override flag, so the operation stop processing any more commands and the errors are recorded in the event logs. To keep the switch from losing the connection, the current admin credentials are kept if the configuration file does not contain them when the override flag is used. So if the user uh, wishes to intentionally change the admin credential, so they can rewrite the current admin user configurations by specifying the desired credentials in the config file. Mm -hmm.